guests. Good evening. Have you ever wondered uh, about why the education process has not changed over years? Where the, uh, the, the, where the process stands on a teacher with students and a class. And, uh, and the grade that you get from course that uh, and, and across determines your, your understanding. This way of teaching has been has not changed over 100 years, though everything around us has changed to get better and fit our knowledge uh, that we have. Let's compare our phones, cars, and computers, uh, how, uh, and see how they have been changing. On the other hand, the the education process has not changed a bit. Nowadays, our scale of uh, a person's knowledge and social class based on his degree or education degree. But we forgot the most important about learning. Uh, the essence of learning is not your education degree, but it's about the curious, your curious of learning and how, uh, and how, and, uh, and how much are you willing to self-education? Uh, the self-education is a modern education. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, edu uh, it's uh, education without the goodness of masters such as teachers and professors, or institutions such, such as college and uh, schools. Now with internet and technology, there's nothing that you cannot learn and you can be a professional at. And there are many advantages that the self-education provides that the classical way doesn't provide. The first one, it's stress-free education, where a person can learn without any stress from exams and grades. So we can learn just to improve yourself without, uh, uh, just to improve yourself not for grades. The second one, there's no, there's no limits uh, of, of knowledge that, can, that you can gain. Uh, which, you can, uh, which you can learn any object that you are interested. The third thing, that there are no limited resources that you can get or gain your knowledge from. The fourth one and the last one, you can get other uh, skills on the progress. Uh, progress. You will learn how to, man how to manage your time, how to, s how to set your own goals, and finally, how to self-discipline. To prove how the self-education is effective and powerful, I will mention some successful people who don't have education degree, but, uh, uh, or they don't have college degree. For the first one, Steve Jobs, the CEO of Apple, the second one, Michael Dell, the CEO of Dell Technology. The third one, Henry Ford, the founder of, uh, of uh, Ford Motor Company. And the well-known person, Albert Einstein, who has only uh, a high school degree. Also, there, uh, there are big companies that realized how, how powerful the self-education and they know how people can do even without uh, education degree. Uh, and the companies, uh, so the companies uh, do not require uh, employees to be uh, to be a, uh, to have a college uh, uh, degree. And the companies are Google and Apple. Eventually, we can see how the self-education and the desire of uh, of learning. Uh, are great. Today, uh, classical way is, is not necessary. So uh, it's, it's not so necessary uh, due to the uh, easier uh, 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 to the easier access to the knowledge from internet. Whether in the past, one of the main benefit to get, to go to college it's about uh, it's to, to go uh, to going uh, to uh, to get access to their library. Today, access to facts and information are available online.
and thank you. I'd like to go to the first